Next, we have Intel Arc Alchemist GPU lineup it may include the A310 4 GB entry level graphics cards, once again coming from WCCF Tech. Intel's Arc Alchemist A series graphics card lineup is now rumored to feature an absolutely low end graphics card known as the A310. The rumor comes from a reliable leaker, enthusiast citizen over at Billaby, Billy Billy, there we go, who reported the lineup a few days ago. Although Intel never launched DG1 officially in the desktop space, the GPU still ended up in the OEM segment with options from a range of AIBs, including ASUS. The DG1 graphics card, being an entry-level design, did find some popularity given its low price and feature set. Based on the new rumor, Intel is expected to release a successor to the DG1 graphics card in the form of the Arc A310 graphics card. The previous rumor already talked about four Intel Arc A series desktop graphics cards based on the Alchemist DG2 GPUs. If the rumor about the Arc 310 is correct, then this would be the fifth graphics card within the lineup. The A310's name pretty much sums up what this card is, an entry level and low power graphics card that will be aimed at the OEM segment. It may be possible that this card could or would only get released in the OEM segment and not see a DIY release like the RX 6400 initially. In terms of specs, the ARC A310 will be a cut down graphics card sitting below the ARC A380 and the ARC A350. It will utilize the ACM G11 GPU core and feature 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a 64 bit bus interface. What does this mean for miners? Mm probably don't want it right and it's not it's not going to be good enough unless it's got really really good power consumption but you're also talking about only four gigabytes of memory on there as well so as for the core count it could either retain the 96 eus of the arc a350 series or go even lower with just 64 eus enabled that will be half the full acm g11 gpu it is based upon performance is said to be slower than the radeon rx 6400 graphics card as for the other graphics cards that were detailed last week, the same leaker reports that Intel's ARC A380 will fall between the RTX 3050 and RX 6400 graphics card. The mid-range ARC A580 will fall between the RTX 3060 and RX 6600 graphics cards, while the high-end ARC A750 will be faster than the RTX 3060. Meanwhile, the ARC A770 will end up faster than the RTX 3060 Ti. In select scenarios, the Intel ARC lineup will offer higher performance, such as ray tracing and titles with XESS support. But aside from that, Intel needs a lot of work to be done on the driver side before they can really compete with NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Now, we've been talking about this for quite some time, and one of the updates I did see here is that it is possible on the A770 that we get all the way up to a 320-bit bus, and that would be the 16 gigabytes a second of the GDDR6. That could be very enticing for miners. Obviously, the 256-bit bus at 200 watts, super good as well. These could end up being fantastic for mining, but not this lower end GPU. It's interesting that they are going to be releasing one, potentially. Of course, it is a rumor. Um, I think that most of those would go into uh, potentially d those big land gaming centers and the internet cafes as they're popular in the East, maybe like South Korea, Japan, that sort of thing, right? And that's because... All they really want to do is play League of Legends in Hearthstone. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.